Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. Welcome back. We're now checking in with Stefano now. Today, you might need the umbrella just in case we uh, have a pop up shower. So, around yeah, our there's area. a few showers that are going to sneak in, but the good news is this morning we've seen some pretty good change. It's nowhere near as chilly as it was this time yesterday when, remember, we were waking up in the 20s. That's not the case right now. We're waking up in the 40s across the board. Wilkes Barre and Scranton were at 49, Mount Pocono at 42, Pottsville right around 40, and Hazleton coming in at 45. Let's just compare it to this time yesterday and we are running a good 15 to even 20 degrees higher in the temperature department compared to right around 24 hours ago. So some change for the better this morning. No frost on the cars. We're getting ready to leave, but we do remember just want to take the umbrella with us, even though many of us, if not really everybody, are starting off dry. A few showers further up to our north, maybe a little bit of a drizzle up in the northern tier or the northern Susquehanna Valley. That's mainly about it at this point, but more cloud cover around right now, and that'll be sticking around for a majority of today as this front continues to come through, which as it does, that's what ends up giving us just a few showers, but nothing soaking as we go through today. And then once this front does pass through, we'll start to kickstart another cool down as we get ready to end this week. But today we'll end up right near average. Over the next 12 hours, the temperature makes it to the mid 50s, which is right on par with the average for this time of year, right around 54. As we are headed out the door this morning for that morning commute, there are no big weather problems. And that's the important thing to remember. Not as chilly, mid 40s, and just that lingering cloud cover. At worst, a little bit of a drizzle in some spots. And let's go through Futurecast. There goes that front, keeps the cloud cover here. But it also brings us a few showers through the afternoon. Just something to keep an eye out for. I think we find plenty of dry time today. An area of high pressure does end up settling into our south for tomorrow. So what that does is break up the cloud cover a little bit more and eventually give us a little more sunshine. But by the time we get to Thursday, this area of low pressure, this quick moving clipper, starts to move in. It does look like late Thursday will start with rain, but then as this front starts to go through and colder air starts to move back in behind it, then we start to see that transition to some snow showers late Thursday into Thursday night. And as colder air continues to come back in and the wind picks up on Friday, a few lake effect flurries and a snow shower will be in the cards on top of that. So something we'll be watching right now looks like some minor accumulation that will update you on as we get closer to the day. 54 for the high in your eyewitness weather forecast. We are mostly cloudy with just a few showers to talk about. The wind at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Our sun rise this morning at around 639. So not a bad day today, but just a day where not a bad idea to have the umbrella handy. Tonight will drop to right around that freezing mark, so it's colder as that sky clears out. 50 tomorrow with a mix of clouds and sun. Thursday, we're at 48. We'll start dry, rain showers first, then we'll look to transition to a few snow showers through late Thursday and Thursday night. A snow shower or really just a couple of flurries on Friday. It's pretty windy at 38. Saturday clouds and sun in the upper 30s. Overnight lows are in the 20s, if not even dropping to the teens in some spots. Sunday a rain or snow shower at 44. Monday 36 and some lingering cloud cover. Don't forget about the Eyewitness Weather app. We can always download that on our phones and tablets. The forecast is always available for you at pahomepage.com. So right now, signs are porting, pointing towards just some minor accumulation, if anything, with that clipper coming through. We'll watch it over the next couple of days. So keyword being minor, another any, keyword so, yeah, yeah. being accumulation. So yeah, potential, so, yeah. potential. We'll see how it happens. We know that you'll be tracking it out for us. Yeah, but we it, have time. You know, it's November. We should expect that. Yes, as part of our yes we should. All mm -hmm. right, Stefano, thanks. We'll be right back with more eyewitness news. But first here,